Welcome back. According to Dr. Sarno, there are two reasons why reduction of blood flow happens and the pain. Number one, repress anger and rage or what we can call intense negative emotions. Number two, condition response. To deal with those intense negative emotions, we created a lot of positive ones through the rapid recovery outcomes and even more through rapid recovery mindset. All the excitement, enthusiasm, joy, all those positive emotions push back against the negative ones, increase blood flow and pain goes away. Fantastic. Now, for condition response, we have to deal with it by keep moving into the pain. Because one of the reasons it stays there, because at the deep level, it's a habit that we have developed. And once you have a habit, it's hard to break it. But if you keep moving in that direction, it'll start to go away. So what we want to do is slow, steady progress. For example, Let's say you sit down for five minutes or so and then the, there's some pain, but the pain starts getting worse and worse and worse and you have to get up or move around or, or, or do something to manage the pain. Well, in this case, what we're saying is instead of sitting five minutes and then start wiggling or getting up, whatever, set a goal for the first day to sit for six minutes, next day, seven minutes. So set for yourself a one week goal where you're going to every day sit a little longer. Very simple. The good thing about that is, number one, you're not scaring yourself. You're just every day going a little bit more. Number two, there's been situations where you sat down more than five minutes. You didn't have a choice. Maybe you're in a doctor's office uh, waiting room. Maybe you're in a car, you couldn't really get out. Maybe you wiggled, whatever, but you know, you didn't really harm yourself. And I mean, I went through that myself. And I'm, when, it started, when it came to recovery, I'm like, wait a minute, I've done more than that. I just didn't know before that the pain was just reduction of blood flow and it's harmless. So set your goal for the next seven days that you're gonna sit a little bit longer or maybe stand a bit longer every single day. By doing that, you're pushing against the condition response and you're building your confidence. Because if by the end of the week, after you know sitting longer, standing longer, you start having pain halfway through it. For example, by the end of the week, you, you've done it one minute more, seven more minutes of sitting, now you can sit for 12 minutes. But if after 10 minutes you're having this sharp pain, you go like, wait a minute, I've already sat 12 minutes, if I'm having a sharp pain, it's intolerable, it's very hard, it's from tension. It's because my mind also sometimes doesn't want to give up a habit. This is a condition response, like a pain habit. It's giving me this pain for me to give up, I'm not giving up, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Now, amazing things can happen when you start doing this. Because as you train your mind to achieve this goal, and you can apply the, with the principles here and transform your life by setting achieving goals in other areas of your life, slow, steady progress in anything, whether it's your exercise program, your diet, or your uh, learning, whatever it is. And I explain more about this in chapter five of my book. But what happens is, as you keep pushing in that direction, and your confidence is built, then you don't get scared anymore. You realize you can do more and you can achieve. So when that happens, uh, in my case, I was planning to go up two steps without pain in my knees or in my back. That was my goal. If I go two steps without hurt, I'll be fine. But guess what? After two days, I went up 17 steps. It's very scary. I was going up, my eyes were seeing it, my my uh, my uh, body was going up. I'm like, am I actually going up all these steps? When I got to the top, though, I looked down. I'm like, how am I going to go down these steps? There was no handrail, unfortunately. That was what I just grabbed and slowly went down. But I took a deep breath. I said, okay, my body's fine. I need to overcome my fear and start going down. And my knees were shaking. But when I got to the down, down, I'm like, all right, I can do this. So at this point, what I asked you to do is put the video on pause, pick a position. It could be sitting, it could be standing, um, that, or maybe even lying down hurts. Whatever it is that you stay in that position without wiggling, without moving, without giving into the pain for a certain amount of time. If it's five minutes, it's five minutes. If it's standing, don't go like, well, I can do five minutes, but I have to go like this, I have to move back, up. No, five minutes of firmly standing, 
see yourself as a mountain, see yourself as a, uh, a tree, firmly planted, and you're not moving for that five minutes. And then say, okay, tomorrow, six minutes or five and a half minutes, whatever works for you. The next day, a little bit more, next day, a little more. Set a seven day goal that you're going to do. So pause the video and do it now. Okay, now pick an activity. An activity you do every day, but it's painful. And pick the same idea for the next seven days, you're going to do a little bit more of it. If it's bending, say, okay, I can bend like, all right, I can bend maybe 10 degrees. I'm gonna to try to every day bend a little bit more. If you can walk five minutes or 10 minutes before it's too painful, say, so, okay, I'm gonna walk 10 minutes. And then every day I'm gonna walk extra 30 seconds or extra minute for the next seven days. Okay, pause the video, do it now. Okay, very good. Now, you have two goals that you're gonna start working on. Very simple, very easy, okay? Now, I want you to pick for yourself a reward for achieving your goal. Very important. See, the, again, it's part of also um, creating a lot of positive emotions. I prefer you pick some sort of a dessert because Seeing it, smelling it, tasting it, gets three of your senses involved right there. So it has a greater impact on you as being something positive and make your new developed habit ingrained in your subconscious mind. The new habit is walking longer, sitting longer, overcoming the pain easier. Now, sometimes people say, you know, I love ice cream, but I'm trying to lose weight. Are you telling me I need to, you know, have more ice cream? There are two ways of having ice cream. One is you have a pint of ice cream so fast, you don't realize you even had any. Or you sit down, you take a teaspoon of ice cream. You bring it to your mouth. You very slowly touch your mouth. You take a whiff of it. Oh, wow, this smells really good. You really look at it, really enjoy that one teaspoon of ice cream. And that has a greater impact, a greater positive impact, impact on you than having a whole coat of ice cream. So now you have your goals. Now you have your reward. I want you to sit back for a moment. Just sit back, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath. Okay, take a nice deep breath. Hold that breath. Slowly breathe out. Very good, one more time. Take a nice deep breath. Hold that breath, allow air and oxygen to go in. Are you ready? Just breathe out and see yourself strong and powerful again. And now achieving your goal easily, pain-free, sitting long time, walking long ways. Whatever you wrote down as your two goals for the positions, and for your activity, see yourself do it. Smile, big smile. I mean, happy, excited. Finally, you're going to do it. You're doing it, feeling great. And as you do it, as you feel great about doing it, I want you to see yourself rewarding yourself for achieving your goal. Rewarding yourself for achieving your goal. Very simple. So it could be whatever you pick. A um, little bit of ice cream, a little bit of chocolate, but go ahead. Imagine your mind, you're seeing it. Imagine your mind, you're actually smelling it, going, oh, this is fantastic stuff. Imagine putting a little bit on your mouth, on your lips. Mm, mm, this is awesome. Just awesome. And then imagine having it in your mouth mm, and tasting a little bit. At this point, your mouth start, may start watering, mine is, but that's also a good sign, meaning that whatever you're imagining is having a positive impact on your physiology. It's going into your subconscious, having a really positive impact. Okay, now, take a deep breath, slow, open your eyes, big smile, very good. So, now you have a good plan. So start working on it, keep visualizing it, keep focusing on it. Keep remembering your uh, rapid recovery outcomes. Keep getting strong and powerful. Keep imagining achieving your goals and giving yourself your reward. Very good. And to finalize all of these steps, 
Start keeping a record every day. Start keeping a record every day. Today, I sat five minutes. I felt good, I felt great. In addition to that, maybe I did a little more of this, a little more of that. This other thing was kind of hard before or painful for me. I, I did it, it wasn't my goal, but I managed to bend a little bit more. Don't overdo it, but anything that feels normal, feels you were excited about doing it, and it's not too hard. It's not, I don't want you to scare yourself. Start working on that. And as you keep moving forward, keep a record every day, and close your eyes every time you write it, go like, wow, this is amazing, it's amazing. In fact, Raise your right up, right arm right now. Raise it up. Very good. Put it on your left shoulder. Go. All right, Fred. You're, you're getting there. Coach yourself. If no one else is there to coach you, coach yourself. If you have uh, a spouse, you have friends, family members, anybody else who's going to share that joy with you, even better. All right. Doing fantastic. I will see you in the next video.